Hi, Argon. The book that I'm going to read you today is called The Monster of Manners. And it is written by Scott E. Sutton. This is actually an author who's local to Arizona. And he, Scott Sutton, signed this page for my daughter. There's a party at the cucumbers. Why do you say? Because today is Katie Cucumber's birthday. But Katie is mad, and as you might guess, her birthday party has become a big mess. There are kids throwing cake all over the place. A piece just hit Katie right in the face. There is ice cream and candy all over the floor, and Katie's poor mom can't take it anymore. Oh, how do you think she feels at her birthday if that's happening? Katie Cucumber was about to yell when she heard ding dong from the front door bell. Her mom opened the door and to their surprise stood a very strange monster, a very large size. He had skin that was blue and hair that was yellow. And he wasn't messy, but a nicely dressed fellow. He wore neat he wore a neat suit with a bow tie, too. He even smelled good, not like an old shoe. Yikes! yelled Katie. First kids throw my cake. Now a monster shows up. Oh, what a mistake. Do not fear, said the monster. I will not hurt you. Your party's a mess, but I know what to do. Allow me, he said, to tell you my name. I'm the monster of manners, and it is my aim. To save your party, I know why it's a mess. Because no one has learned their manners, I guess. <gasps> He's there to help them learn their manners. Thank goodness. Manners, manners, what are manners? Asked Lance, who was wiping some cake off his colorful pants. Manners, said monster. Show you how to treat others, like friends and parents, your sisters and brothers. Now to help me teach these manners to you are the manner monsters, Bubby and Schmoo. Greetings to you, the monsters did holler. They were monsters, all right, but quite a bit smaller. So there's Bubby and Schmoo with the monster of manners. They're like a little crew. Fix my party, asked Katie. Okay, go ahead. No problem, call me Manny, the big monster said. Now the first bunch of manners is about to be how to be clean, because this is the worst mess I've ever seen. Okay, kids, said Manny, we'll start with the floor. We'll clean this place up till the mess is no more. So they cleaned up the cake and the candy too, and the ice cream and presents until they were through. What do you notice about the words of the story. I'll read you this page and see if you can notice. I'm trying to read it with rhythm too. When the cl when cleaning the mess was finally done, he said, "Wash your hands and face, everyone." But why wash up? Asked Kirky. How come? We're gonna get dirty again. That's dumb. Some people said Manny may say, "Don't be picky." You can smell bad, stay dirty, and gooey, and icky. But there is a secret you really must know. When things stay dirty, germs can grow. Uh-oh. This is why people are wearing masks, they're getting sick. So we want to protect ourselves by staying clean. Even though he's thinking, why would I wash my hands? They're just going to get dirty again. But why do we wash our hands? It's because there's little germs. And so we always try to wash our hands even more, especially now that people were getting sick. Germs, what are germs, asked Katie quickly. They're tiny little bugs that make you quite sickly. They're so small you can't see them, Manny did say. Where's the dirt and bad smells? They're not far away. Wash your hands and your face after you play. Take a bath or shower every day. Cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. 
or you'll spray germs on people. So don't do that, please. There's the germs. We got to keep clean. When you sneeze or have stuff stuck in your nose, use a tissue to clean it, not your fingers or clothes. Flush the toilet too. Wash your hands when you're through. Because there are germs in the toilet. It stinks. Pew! Yikes, said Kirky. That's why you clean. Because of those germs, they can't be seen. Right, said the monster. But wait, there's more when you leave things a mess on the table or floor. Uh-oh. Like clothes or food, your toys and all, people can trip and slip and fall. If your room is a mess, Manny told everyone, you can't find a thing or get anything done. You look for some crayons. Where could they be? You find them at all. It takes all day, maybe three. It's okay to work and play and have fun, but clean up and pick up your stuff when you're done. We talked about this in Connections, remember? Some of you like to keep things organized so you find it. And then Zane said he doesn't like to hurt his foot in the trip. Now line up for cake, kids, Manny did say. I'll teach you to get things done right away. Kids were pushing and yelling for cake and ice cream. Please be quiet, Monster Bubby did scream. But the kids became quiet with a look of surprise. Bubby's voice was so loud for the monster's small size. If you all interrupt when someone is talking, you can't hear a thing. It's like chicken squawking. That's what happens at school when some students are trying to all talk at the same time. And so that's why we have to have like a quiet sign or raise our hand, because when everybody's talking, ooh, it gets crazy, huh? Here are some manners you've got to learn. Don't all go at once. You must wait your turn. If you all go at once, you will smush everyone. Then no one gets nothing and nothing gets done. Say please if you want something done, it's true. Like, please may I have cake and ice cream, too? And when someone gives you or does something for you, always say thank you when you are through. Please and thank you. Those are good, kind manners to be respectful. The kids and the monsters each got some cake, saying please and thank you without a mistake. Close your mouth and don't talk when you chew, or the food will fall out, and that's gross, said Shmoo. What about burping? asked Kirky Cucumber. Your burps, laughed Katie, are louder than thunder. Cover your mouth when you burp, said Bubby. Don't make them so loud, say excuse me instead. Here's a manner, said Manny, that's helpful to know. You can say excuse me wherever you go. To get through a crowd, cross through a line, say excuse me and get through just fine. If you meet your friends or someone new, smile and say hello, said Shmoo. Then when you leave, you should always say goodbye to them before walking away. Well, this is how you can be polite. Excuse me, I need to get through. Or if you're meeting someone, you can say hi. I probably wouldn't shake their hands because of the germs, but you could do like air high five. That's what we've been trying to do now. When the kids and the monsters ate and were done, they went outside to play games and have fun. They played soccer, jump rope, and baseball too. But the monsters saw there was more work to do. Some kids playing ball started yelling and fighting. They were using bad words, even hitting and biting. Some girls had taken one of Katie's new toys, and poor Crummy's tail was being pulled by some boys. Uh-oh. Sometimes there are problems when we're playing outside or going on the playground. So let's see what the, monitor, the monster of manners teach them. Crummy was growling. Katie started to cry. It was time to give some new manners a try. So Manny the monster with Bubby and Shmoo went out to kids and the kids showed, showed the kids what to do. The monster of manners, listen here, boys. Don't hurt that poor dog. He's not one of your toys. How would you like someone to do that to you? Be nice to animals and they will be nice to you. A lot of friends share about how they like to be kind to their pets and respectful to their animals and I agree with that. 
Now, girls, he said, taking things isn't fair. If you ask Katie nicely, maybe she'll share. Don't take people's stuff without asking, said Shmoo. Ask first and say please. It's the right thing to do. Manny the monster told the boys playing ball, These bad words and hitting are no good at all. Don't hit or hurt people, said Bubby and Shmoo, because he wouldn't want them to hit or hurt you. I agree. That's why we have manners. It's because we want people to be respectful to us, so we have to do the same. If you hurt people's feelings, call them names that are bad, you will lose them as friends, and then you'll be sad. If you really want people to be nice to you, you've got to try to be nice to them, too. If someone gets hurt, like falls to the ground, don't laugh or make fun or just stand around. Make sure they're all right, and if they're okay, go get some help right away. All people are different, not just different colors. Their bodies are different, big or small nose. Some may be skinny and some may be tubby. But they're people like you, said Monster Bubby. If you want others to be nice to you, try to use manners and be nice to them too. Goodbye, said Manny, Bubby, and Shmoo. You learned your manners. Now you know what to do. Thanks for your help, Happy Katie did say. You're welcome, said the monsters who went on their way. She went back to her party, and it was much better now. How come? They're using manners, that's how. And here are the cucumber kids, Katie, Kirky, Lance, and Crumby. The end. The monster of manners. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a good day.